Let's look at effective shading devices for east and west facades in high performance buildings. High performance building schemes such as Passive House rely on seasonal control of solar access. Why? Well, facades that are designed kind of like a thermal flask lose heat quite slowly. Solar heating has a great potential in the wintertime but can result in way more internal gains than we actually need in the summertime. A classic response is to add solar shading devices to our buildings. But far too often we see the same sort of shading devices turning the corner of the building. The thing is, horizontal shading just doesn't do much for us on a west facade. And in passive house projects, this sort of inefficient west facade shading is going to result in an awful lot of unhappy clients. During exams for the Passive House Practitioner Workshop, we noticed quite a few people don't seem to understand how shading works. Let's take a 1980s house as a starting point. It's got reasonable sized windows on the south, but also on the east and west. There are minimum overhangs. Let's have a look at the shading patterns for a July afternoon. We can see that the minimum overhang at the roof isn't doing us very much good. Let's adapt this. Many people think that extending the roof overhang to the east and west and a little bit of shading horizontally over the windows is a pretty good approach. Let's see how that works. Again, shading patterns in the afternoon. We can see there's a little bit more shade on the west facade, but that large window at the stair is still largely unprotected. What does work is to add vertical shading devices on the east and west side. As a first guess, we're projecting out the vertical shading the same amount as the horizontal shading, but we're also going to increase the overhang on the south windows as well. Very early in the morning, the vertical shadings don't do much, but late morning they start to work. And in the um, early afternoon, they are partially successful. And we're getting more shade on the south. So it's important to use our CAD tools to understand what the sun can see and how effectively our shading devices work. Let's do that upfront task so that we better understand what works and what doesn't. If we get it right, we can have much cooler conditions in the summer house in our passive house buildings.